today I was talking with my friend in the gym. Uh, normally I don't mention names and I won't do it because like I'm uh, privacy, you know, like a, so and I remember like I saw this beautiful woman, right? She's very beautiful, believe me, she's very beautiful, short, uh, like a probably five feet one, five feet two, around there, or maybe between five feet one, let's call it. A very beautiful woman, sexy woman, and I, I remember like a. I tried to talk to her, right, but it was was not like a. a just going to her because sometimes there is not opportunity because like as she is in some kind of machine that you cannot just walk unless that you have that big courage to go and talk to her uh, but I'm not that kind of person I kind of shy but anyways like uh, was not I couldn't have the opportunity at the beginning and that happened for like a probably two three weeks maybe a month I, I'm not sure so and I was just checking on her and she was sometimes from time to time checking on me I catch her checking a couple of times on me because I was, was checking on her you know to see one opportunity to go and talk to her so anyways I couldn't go for this time until one day it can one day so always if you want to talk to some woman you have to look for it always you have to look for it if you don't look for it it won't come that opportunity so you have to go and I, I was trying I was trying to see sometimes she was with uh, she's uh, from Middle East and uh, normally women from Middle East uh, they have like a very uh, poker face or sometimes a kind of mean face kind of bitch like a kind of like a mean bitch face I don't know so anyways like uh, she always when he's working out she's like a uh, concentrated you know like I uh, don't talk to me or, some, or, or probably I know that she noticed me so like uh, at one point I went to talk to her right right so and we start talking and anyways we become friends and and she I, I know that now I know that she has somebody like uh, some some she's in stable relationship right so and I was talking to her today I talked to her many times and uh, she's now my friend like, so and I was this is advice for all men please for all men all men and I I knew this and sometimes you forget about this but this is the truth the best female the mean boxer the best uh, bodybuilder uh, in the gym or in whatever area, area it is they are the nicest one in their area for example the baron shells always are the people that dog you out uh, trying to not give you any advice uh, trying to feel important things like that always the the people that they own a business for like uh, six months they are they always like uh, they, they, they stack up they are millionaires or whatever or at least that, that's what they think but the people that they are really millionaires they are so polite they are so friendly they are so uh, open to give you any advice about money they, because they, they are not compete, competing with you anymore you are not competition with for them at all even if you are they have their chunk of money so they are okay probably they want a little bit more but it's not that they will take your money because you don't have it so it's okay they will give you any advice no problem at all for them the same thing in the bodybuilding uh, the the biggest guy the the most muscular guy you approach to him he will give you any advice probably at the beginning they won't tell you for you know like a rude re reality like a, for example if you go to a, to the biggest guy you won't go and ask him hey what do you should you take train what, what do you take probably he will come on man like don't ask me that those stupid shit like he will be kind of mean probably but if you couple of 
uh, two or three times after you met him, you ask him, he will openly tell you. No problem at all. So he is like a do it for your safe. Uh, you have to be smart when you do it. Uh, he will give you any advice. The same thing in the boxing business. You will go and provoke any guy. He will dog you out. But the mean guy, the, the guy that he really will kill you, he won't dog you out. Because he knows like it's a waste, waste of time. Why he will fight for you? He will choose his fight. It's not like a, he, he doesn't have any problem with you. Even if you dog him out. If you, if you, okay, if you, he will come to you, uh, and this happened to me. So I, I, I become a friend in the business, in my business, because like, uh, oh, I know you. Uh, he was thinking like, uh, uh, I, 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 I saw this new guy, you know, in the gym. I, he didn't come. I say, hey, what's up? Uh, he was kind of like, uh, uh, in his own, and, and then he barely friendly way he say like uh, hey I knew in the gym yeah I don't come that much to this gym because uh, this gym is too small for me I need a little bit heavier weight and I'm UFC fighter a professional fighter I have a he told me his record and he you know like a, and I was wow that's impressive man you can google it and he's like a a, 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 a real you know like a and that's what I realized uh, today with my friend. She's very beautiful. She's very sexy. She's smart. She's a lawyer. She has money. She has everything. And I was realizing like uh, uh, we was ask, uh, he was she was asking me like uh, uh, no I don't uh, I say like uh, I wanna be big. I wanna I wanna people see me and to to immediately say like I don't have doubt that he's taking a series I want to look I want to be big not that big like a pro I want to get big to compete and she was like I know some some guys uh, some women's is preference some women we, we like people like you that look more natural than artificial you know and the incredible thing is that there was another guy that he's for sure using the juice and even he has the braille back, you know, all those pimples, all those all those um, nasty things that the juice give you, you know, the side effect of that train give you and Deca give you, right? So and she say, I'm so confident that I can go and ask many guys and they will give me their numbers. And I was looking at her and I was thinking, how is possible that this gorgeous woman think like that and talk like that? Statistics say like a poor, poor uh, a man, a woman, if she means, if she, uh, she goes to any place, 4% of all those guys, just 4% she will connect it to. Just 4%. In the in the main size, if we go to a gym or some or university or whatever, like a men's, we will connect with 60, 60% of all the women of that. That's unbelievable high statistic. Unbelievable high number. So and I was looking at her and I was thinking like uh, this woman can go to 99% of the guys and we will give her her number. And she's bragging at me about like uh, she will go and get the number of that guy. And I was thinking like how low her self-esteem. She is very secure about herself. But what I realized is because as beautiful a woman it is as less guys go and talk to her and because in the in the in the in the area of looking for some relationship right i'm talking about a specific relationship i'm not talking about business probably in the business area she's a lawyer come on she will uh evolve in that area like a <laughs> easy like a 
like a fish in the water, you know, like a easy, easy, because she's a, she's a lawyer, come on. But in the area of relationship, because she's so beautiful, she doesn't have that much experience. Sometimes she will say things that will sound rude or funny or, 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 or kind of weird to you. But in the other hand, women that are average, hundreds and hundreds of guys go and talk to her and she becomes so fluently. So, because she has more experience in this area, she talk and manage you like a, like a game, you know, like a, she will play with you in some way or another way. But this beautiful, gorgeous woman, she will be a little bit hard to deal with so you have to be more straight forward because she will she won't play that much that game to the left to the right let's be this let. why because like she doesn't have that practice like the other girls average girls have it you know why because come on with with practice uh, come mastering you know like uh, she knows their hair stuff because Many guys went to talk to her, and I was like amazed to see. That's why, like, uh, sometimes it will work if you go and talk to her, you know. And many, many guys probably do want this woman, and probably she has her standards, right? Doesn't mean like uh, you just will go and nobody else talk to her and give you the guarantee. Why? Because uh, she can, she has their things going on in her life, so she can wait a little bit longer. So it's not like, a, oh, okay, I'm waiting for this guy, and he will talk to me, even if he's ugly, I will get for it. No, she has her her type, you know. But what I'm saying is like, a, you have more chance with a beautiful woman than the average woman for those reasons. Why? Because she they don't play those games anymore. She doesn't have that practice. Second, she won't make you lose your time. Immediately, in couple of, because again, she doesn't play the game, immediately she will clarify the way to you, the way out or the or way there and, and see what's going on. And third, you will have better conversations, better better time, and you will go directly to open. It's good for her and good for you because she's clearly open. She's like a, a book. She will show you everything because she, again, she doesn't play the, that game. And because she doesn't play those games anymore, it's not anymore. She, she doesn't know how to play. She, she's like a, she openly smile or openly serious so she she's show it she doesn't fake it like a average woman that are faking there so there is many many advanced stage that go to a for a beautiful woman than for an average woman whatever you consider beautiful or average it's better to go for the best thing that you think than for an average that you think why for all those reasons, you won't waste time, you won't waste money, you won't be played around, uh, you will know what you are getting into 